Hey everybody, Miss Teacher here. We're taking a look at a pretty complex question. Triangle QRS with the following vertices, they have Q, R, and S, and they plot them on this coordinate plane, is drawn inside a rectangle as shown below. What is the area in square units of triangle QRS? So that's the green triangle. We have to find the area. Now when you first look at it, you say, well, I know the formula for area of a triangle. It's half of the base times height. But then when you go to explore what's the base and what's the height, they're not really given. And they could be inferred, but it would be a little more work to do it that way using, uh, there's a theorem that seventh graders use that we're going to try to avoid using in sixth grade. So here's what we're going to do instead. Let's find the area of the rectangle that surrounds it first. So this red rectangle, let's focus on that. What are the dimensions of it? Well, going across, it's one, two, three, four going this way. And going this way, it's one, two, three, four, five units going that way. All right, so let's just double check to make sure that each, each number represents one unit, and it does because this would be one, two, three, four. So we're good to go with five times four as our dimensions. And of course, that would be 20. 20 square units. All right, now the next piece of this, since we really can't find the area of this green triangle, let's find the areas of the triangles that surround it. So the, like this purple triangle, for example. Now remember, the base and the height have to be perpendicular to each other. So we have the base and the height right here. We have this number right here, 4, and then we have to calculate the length of this line because 5 is going all the way down. We need to figure out what's the length of the purple line, and it's 3. So it's a 4. Four, base of 4 and a height of 3. Let's plug it in over here. 1 half times 4 times 3. Half of 4 would be 2, and 2 times 3 would be 6. All right, so we know that this little piece in here, the purple piece, I'll just move it over here, would be 6. So let's just put a little 6 right in there. All right. Now we have another triangle right here, this piece. What are the dimensions of it? Well, the base is 1, 2, and the height is also 2. So we'll do area equals half of 2 times 2. Area equals 2 times 2 is 4, so half of 4 would be 2. All right, so the area of that is 2 square units. All right, and now we have one more triangle. We have this triangle right here. Let's find the area of that. The base on that is 2, and the height on that is 5. Base times height divided by 2 will give us the area of this triangle right here. So let's fill in the numbers. Area equals half of the base, which recall we said was 2. And the height on that, which remember has to be perpendicular to what you're calling the base, is 5. And if we do 2 times 5, we get 10. And half of 10 would be 5. All right, so this is 5 square units this little chunk in here. All right, now here's what we know. We know the red rectangle is 20. So we need to subtract all the individual rec uh, excuse me, triangles from this figure. So let's add up what we have. We have 6 plus 5 is 11, and 11 plus 2 would be 13. So the only thing left you have to do is subtract 20 minus 13, and that should be the area of the green, because that's what remains, right? There's a hole in there. And look to see if that's one of the choices here. When we subtract 20 minus 13, is that one of the choices that we see right here? And if it is, you're going to go ahead and pick it. All right, good luck finishing up this question.